Namashiva student welcome to the class in this class we will start a new chapter from the geography textbook of class 6 and the chapter is globe latitudes and longitudes student in the previous chapter the earth and the solar system you have read about our planet earth and you know the shape of the earth that it is not sphere it is geoid because it is flattened at the top and bulging at the middle in this chapter we will learn about three major topics uh, that is about globe latitude and longitudes so let's first we understand what is globe you can see a picture of globe is given in your book actually globe is a true model of earth in a miniature form the globe may be varying in size and types such as big globes which cannot be carried easily and a small size pocket globe and a globe like balloons which can be carried easily by us the globe is not fixed it can rotates in the same way as a top spin or a potter's wheel is rotated yes but the speed of rotation you can control and on the globe countries continents and oceans are shown in their correct size now as we know that it is difficult to describe the location of a point on a sphere shape like the earth so now the question is how to locate place on it so to locate a place we need certain points of reference and lines to find out the location of a place so one such important reference point is pole so now let's we understand about pole the top and the bottom of the earth are called the poles the top is called north pole and the bottom is called south pole and you must have noticed that a needle is fixed through the globe in a tilted manner which is called its axis we are ta talking about this needle which you can see in the picture so the way a globe rotates around the pivots the earth also rotates around an imaginary line and the imaginary line around which the earth rotates is called the axis of the earth you can understand about this axis with the help of an activities which is already given in the book and this is the activity you can conduct this activity at home with the help of an potato so please try to do this activity now one more line which divides the globe into two equal part and this line is known as equator in same way our earth is also divided into two equal part by an imaginary line called equator the northern half is known as the northern hemisphere and the southern half is known as southern hemisphere they both are equal halves of the earth the equator which is an imaginary line imaginary circular line is a very important reference points to locate places on the earth as we have discussed about the poles and not only the equator there are total 181 imaginary lines and circles are drawn on the earth to help the location of a particular place and these imaginary circles are called parallels of latitude and they are measured in degree about this parallels of latitude we will discuss in detail in our next class you can see the picture of this earth where the equator is marked and towards the top north of equator this is the northern hemisphere and towards the south of equator this is southern hemisphere about this parallels of latitude we will discuss in detail in our next class so till then take care of yourself namaskar